In this video, I am going to explain you how this LAHF instruction will be executed. And this question is asked in the Mumbai University question paper repeatedly many times. So what is this AH? This is our 8-bit register. This L stands for that is the lower byte of our data. That is the lower byte from our flag register. So this L indicates that the flag register. And this AH is our 8-bit register. So whenever this instruction will be executed that time, the lower byte of data will be stored into our AH register. So the lower byte of our flag will be stored in our contents of our AH register. So previously, whatever the contents of our AH register will be there in our register structure, that will be replaced with this flag registers of our lower byte. So in 8086 microprocessor, there are multiple flags are available. So there is a 16 bit of memory register will be available for our flag register structure. So the size of our flag register is 16 bit. The first flag is carry flag. Then the second one is parity flag. Then our auxiliary carry flag will be there. Then zero flag, sign flag, trap flag, interrupt flag, direction flag and the overflow flag. So these are the flags are available. Total nine flags are active in our 8086 microprocessor and other bits are not defined bits that are available in our flag register structure. So these are the not defined bits are there that is called as a don't care condition and that is reserved for future purpose. Now check this example. The instruction is move x comma 0 h. So whenever I am writing here move x comma 0 h, that time the contents of x is equal to 0 0 0 0. Then we are writing here move bx comma 1. Then our contents of bx will be 0 0 0 1. Whenever you are performing this subtraction ax comma bx instruction, then your ax will be ax minus bx. So you have to perform the subtraction of this 0, 0, 0, 0 minus 0, 0, 0, 1. So for performing the binary subtraction, we get the result as 0 minus 1 is equal to 1, borrow 1. Again 0 minus 1 is equal to 1, borrow 1. Again 0 minus 1 is equal to 1, borrow 1. And again 0 minus 1 is equal to 1 and here borrow is 1. So we got the borrow from this result. And whenever we are writing this result in our register, that time we got this number as 1111. And this data will be stored in our AX register as FFH. So here is the result that we got from our 0 minus 1H. So whenever we are performing the subtraction, the contents of your AX become FFH. And FFH is nothing but your result will be stored in our AX register. But here, whenever you are performing this LAHF instruction, that time it will store the lower order byte of our flag register. Now, based on this result, we have to store, we have to update the contents of that flag register. So, here the borrow is generated so that I am putting here 1 as a carry flag. In this example, when we got our result, it consists of 1, 1, 1, 1. That is 4 times 1s are present. So, whenever the even number of time 1s are present, that time our parity flag will be set to 1. Then we have to check our AF flag that is auxiliary carry flag. And here in case of AF flag, the carry will be generated from these B0, B1, B2 and B3. The carry will be generated from this B2 bit to the B3 bit. That is in this example, in the subtraction, the borrow will be generated here from the B2 bit to the B3 bit so that our AF flag will be set to 1. Now, in case of the result of the operation, there is no 0 will be present. 
if the result of the operation is 0, 0, 0, then 0, then our 0 flag will be set to 1. But here the answer is 1, 1, 1, 1. So that our 0 flag will be set to 0. This result is negative, that is 0 minus 1 is equal to minus 1. Our answer is negative, so that our sign flag will be set to 1. So I am putting here 1 in terms of sign flag. So in this flag register structure, we have set our sign flag, zero flag, then a flag and the parity and the carry flag according to our result that we got from our zero minus one. Now some bits are not defined. That is x is there and that is called as a reserve for future. So this bit is set to one. This bit will be set to zero. This is also set to zero and here the remaining flags are like overflow flag, direction flag, intra flag and the track flag. This is also set to zero. And this not defined bits are set to zero. So the flag register higher by it will be set to zero and now the flag register lower by it will be set to one zero zero one then zero one one one. So, 1001 is nothing but 9 and 0111 is nothing but 7. So, as per this instruction, whenever this instruction will be executed, that is LAHF, then the lower byte of our flag will be set to AH register. So, our AH is equal to 97H and this data will be stored in our contents of AH register and that will be updated according to our example. So what this LAHF instruction can do? It will load the lower byte of our flag register into our AH register. So for example point of view, you have to prepare this instruction because this is repeatedly asked in the Mumbai University question paper. 